take one, take two. I'm not sure how many times I recorded this video. And as you can hear the birds chirping, it's 5 a.m. And I'm extremely grateful to be alive. I'm extremely grateful to be able to live in the present moment and experience the beauty of today. Today's a new opportunity to get my life together. Today's a new opportunity to grow. And this is just a letter to my younger self and a letter to bad habits, right? I feel like so many people are overstimulated these days and they don't know exactly how to take control of their lives. It's very sad to see a lot of people being consumed by technology, but I'm sure you all know that technology is rapidly growing and it's here to help us to become a better person. It's just a lot of people don't know exactly how to utilize the technologies to their advantage. People are overstimulated and I feel like everyone lives, I feel like everyone feels like they're living in a dystopian world right now. A lot of people are overwhelmed, stressed, anxious about exactly where they want to go with their lives, right? And I'll be honest here, it's not hard, but it's not simple either. If you just focus on delaying gratification as much as you can, of course, like I'm saying, it's not hard, it's not simple, it's not easy. But if you truly want to improve your life, if you truly want to improve your mental health, your social circle, your life that you truly want, it all takes discipline, it takes consistency, it takes you to be relentless. And it's all about getting rid of your bad habits, getting rid of your distractions, especially in your, especially if you're in your twenties. You gotta understand that's what life is about. Enjoy your twenties, but be disciplined, work hard, work smart actually. A lot of people wanna work hard, but it's not really getting there anywhere, right? You need to work smart, you need to leverage your connections, you need to leverage the opportunities you get, you need to leverage the skill sets you have. If you don't have any of those, what are you doing at the moment, right? So it's a letter to myself, my younger self, and to the bad habits, the bad habits that consumed me back then. And I'll tell you right here and right now that this is not a normal video. This is just me being vulnerable and sharing my story with people like I'll tell you exactly where I was four years ago four years ago I lost my loved one and I was extremely depressed during that time period for a while and I remember when I attended my first year in university in 2020 right first week and a half I dropped out because of my mental health I was not at a great place and I was extremely turned off by technology. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to be around anyone. I didn't want to do anything, right? I was someone who spent about 14 to 16 hours on in bed or on the couch, constantly sleeping because I didn't want to be awake, right? And it kind of sucks that I wasted a couple of my months like that, but it's just the way how things turned out. And I'm extremely grateful that I'm alive, right? Because I got to see the beauty of nature. I got to see the beauty of the last four years, even though it was extremely difficult for me. I realized a lot. And I'll tell you right here, right now, that life is beautiful when you truly take control of your life. And I'll tell you right now that I did have a lot of bad habits, but after attending to the hospital in 2021, end of January, for about, I believe, nine days, 10 days for a kidney disease and doing a kidney biopsy too, I was out for a month, like, meaning I couldn't really be active, right? And I was extremely upset about that because that experience taught me that I need to get my life together. 
I needed to fix my life. I needed to change exactly how I structured my days. And honestly, the whole, the whole experience really changed me because I was barely socializing with people. I was sleeping a lot. I didn't have a lot going for myself. And I knew exactly what I wanted in my life. It's just that I was in a time period where I didn't know how to get rid of my bad habits. I didn't know how to get my mind right. I didn't talk to people. And 2021 summer hit. And that was exactly when my life changed. I started hitting the gym. I started meditating. Started reading. And I didn't have all of the habits together. But what made me consistent was having a habit tracker. I was replacing all my bad habits with good habits. And I'll tell you a bit about myself in 2020 slash a bit of early 2021. I did smoke. I smoked hookah or shisha, whatever you want to call it, right? Here and there, not a lot, but it was like a time period where I smoked and I didn't enjoy it. It's just something that I picked up to really help me to get myself together in a way to really keep myself calm and collective because my thoughts were all over the place and that's what helped me to kind of stay sane right kind of keep myself together and i want you to all realize that if you've ever been through a situation where you never thought you would get through it i want to be able to tell you exactly that you're capable of getting through any situation whatever you're going through right now you're gonna be okay i'm sure you can hear the birds chirping it's pretty peaceful right now right you might be feeling extremely grateful for listening to this video i'll tell you a little bit about myself right now so i'm a creative i loved creating youtube videos from a long period of time right ever since i was like grade six and right now i'm 21 years old so it's been a while. I created gaming channels. I created YouTube channels for fun. Sometimes I talked in front of the camera. I just love creating videos. But what I truly help, what I truly do is I help people break their addictions regarding dopamine addictions, right? I help people improve their mindset. I help people improve their mental health through being able to experience the beauty of life. So I help people to become present after breaking their dopamine addictions and after that after when people become present i help them to be become better speakers because once you become better at speaking you gain new opportunities and these opportunities can lead you to new places new experiences new social circles right and that can drastically change your whole trajectory, your life trajectory. And that's what you want, right? You really want to be able to live the best life, your dream life in case, right? Your dream life, in fact, which is what everyone should strive for. And I want you to understand that the best way to really get rid of your addictions right now is to structure your life properly. And I'm sure you're fed up with exactly how your life is right now because you're watching this video. And if you're this far into the video, I'm, gl I'm glad you're watching this. I'm extremely grateful you're watching this, actually, because you're taking the first step. You're taking the initiative to get your life together. And what I want you to do is just restructure your day. How does your day-to-day life look like? How many hours do you spend on social media? How many hours do you spend on schoolwork? How many hours do you spend at work? How many sp uh, hours do you spend sleeping, right? So I want you to really write down everything you do on a daily basis and see which habits you need to replace with good habits. And it's not simple. It's going to take time. And a couple tips could be like, you need a habit tracker if you want to track your good habits because you want to replace your bad habits with good habits essentially because you want to improve your life you want to live your dream lifestyle you want to achieve the best life ever because if you're a man i want you to become a provider i want you to become someone who can bless the people around you your loved ones the people in general right i want you to be able to live your best life i want you to 
be able to drive your best slash favorite car that you want. I want you to be able to go and travel around the world because that's what everyone should do. And then I also want you to be able to provide for your loved ones, provide for your wife, your future wife, your future girlfriend or your girlfriend in general, right? And if you're a woman, I want you to realize there's so much more to life. You got to really visualize. Everyone needs to visualize exactly what they want in life. And once you visualize it, you have the belief that you could achieve it. Because if you could visualize it, you could achieve it for sure. So I want you to remember that. And a simple thing I can really tell you is if you do a positive action, you'll get a positive reaction. So an action always equals to a reaction. If you do a negative habit, which is a negative action, you'll get a negative reaction. Remember that. So once you figure out exactly what your day-to-day -day life looks like and what habits, I want you to focus on building up your social circle slowly. I want you to read books regarding how to become present in the moments. I want you to meditate. I want you to go out for walks because the next step is becoming present in the moment because if you could get your mindset right, your life right, you'll be good. Once you're present, once you have your mindset right, your confidence goes up. Your confidence goes up. Your self-image increases. Your self-image increases. All of that plays a huge role, right? So essentially, this video turned out to be a vulnerable story, but it's more like I'm helping you take actionable steps to improve your whole lifestyle. I want you to live the best life you can. So once you become present, once you have the best habits ever to improve your life, I want you to be able to go out and socialize with people. And a great book is how to win friends and influence people because it teaches you exactly how to socialize. It teaches you how to generally influence people as well as make friends. And I want you to realize that the current friends you have right now are holding you back. And that's all right. Maybe you all could go on a journey where you all improve or you might have to cut them out. Who knows, right? This is your situation. If you truly want to improve, if you truly want to get rid of your bad habits, focus on yourself as much as you can. This is the opportunity. This is the time to really, really get to where you really want to go. So I'm going to wrap up this video because you pretty much know a simple framework that could truly help you to improve your life. Like I said, four years ago, I was extremely depressed. I was fat. I was chubby. Now I'm slightly more jacked. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm slightly jacked. I'm living a great life. I'm happy. I'm in a relationship. I'm working on my finances. And I smile way more nowadays. I'm extremely grateful to be alive. There's so much more to life when you truly improve your life. Your whole mindset changes. Your whole perspective changes, which is the best part. So what I want you to do right now is focus on yourself. Know that you can get through anything in life. You're capable of it. I know you are. Take some deep breaths. Let's do that right now before I end this video. So yeah, I will be ending this video. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.